Hello and welcome to Gear Wednesday here on Friendly House TV. My name is Michael and in this episode I will introduce you to some pretty new and exciting tones from a Swedish company called Electron. The brand new Digitone and Analog Heat MK2. The Digitone is an FM synthesizer which does not exactly remind us of its godfather version of FM synthesis, the Yamaha DX7. Physically, obviously, slightly smaller, and also in terms of sound spectrum, definitely more colorful. So, here are the key facts. The Digitone offers four individual FM synths with four operators each and eight voices in total. Instead of trying to reproduce a usually kind of complicated FM synth structure, the Digitone offers eight algorithms, as they call it, which basically means that they have operation modulations pre-patched. That makes the Digitone very powerful from my point of view because I'm a huge fan of easy usability and fast and effective workflow. So, after that FM stage, the Digitone offers a kind of traditional, subtractive synth structure. After a tone in one of those four synth tracks was generated, you will find a multi-mode filter, a digital drive each, and a bass width filter. Regarding modulation and sequencing, the Digitone offers an individual apatiator for each track. Not surprisingly, the great parameter locks microtiming and polyphonic sequencing. What I personally really love is this scale assistant function, which allows us to define some scales and even trigger chords from those tiny buttons if needed. Generally, there are three main send effects built into the Digitone. A panoramic chorus, saturation delay and a very big sounding reverb. Those really add some serious excitement and depth on the sounds of that little beast. I really like the fact that all the sounds coming out of the Digitone are kind of trippy and could be psychedelic, dancey, pumpy or whatever. Almost all kinds of sound directions are available. So, all of those sounds in this video are actually going through the brand new Analog Heat MK2. Still, like the predecessor, it's an analog stereo sound processor slash distortion with digital connectivity through USB. It's supposed to be overbridge enabled, but it's not. Not yet. In total, it offers eight circuit types with different sound or smash types. An analog stereo multi-mode filter, which can either be a low, high or bandpass filter on different slopes. 
a two-band EQ for ba fast balancing of our frequency spectrum, one envelope, which can also be an envelope follower, and one LFO. Going through all those eight circuit types, I did find some interesting sound colors. But I have to be honest again. For those who owe already the old version, there would seriously not be any reason to upgrade from that one. There is not much of a difference regarding the sound. Plus, I also sometimes found it very difficult to keep the effects stable. Again, in terms of usability. Maybe it's me, maybe not. Anyway, in terms of connectivity and workflow, this Swedish company will always be great. It is, of course, MIDI and CV enabled, and all relevant parameters can listen to external sources, like the Digitone in my example here. Overall, Electron doesn't seem to stop the development, and they're constantly accelerating. We do love that. Thank you, Electron. to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time.